We're in the thick of summer, and I'm just here trying to show you as much of this bananas view of the Adriatic and Dubrovnik as possible. So I thought with all of that combined, today's little location is a really good one for today's video topic, how to adapt your travel wardrobe for different destinations without shopping. I did a part one to this where I talk a little bit more about how to make mindful purchases on vacation and how to not buy all the things that have nothing to do with your hometown. Like you come home with all these clothes that you'll never actually wear in real life. I have a video all about that I will leave it up here for you but you know we often visit different destinations when we travel and every city has its own unique vibe and footprint and something that I've always struggled with when I travel to more than one destination or just to a new city in general is how to dress more in line with that environment or be inspired like allow my style to be inspired by that environment while still trying to maintain my own personal style and not getting completely lost so today's video I'm going to share some examples of how I would actually apply that and shop my closet for different destinations. The first outfit example is more for an urban center with a bit of an edge. Like I'm talking the really big cities like London, New York, Melbourne. Melbourne's not really a huge city, but it's got a little bit of that like rougher, tougher edge. So one of the combinations that I would do here would be a trouser and a sneaker. I know a trouser for when it's really hot in the summer doesn't make a lot of sense, but these have a very nice flow they're really light and I like how the silhouette of the trouser it feels really modern and fresh and contemporary so it's a good fit for these cities which are always typically like ahead of the curve in terms of fashion and I would pair these trousers with a sneaker this gives the look a little bit of tension and a little bit of balance between something that feels tailored and something that feels really sporty I also prefer to wear sneakers or closed toe shoes when I'm in these bigger cities so the sneaker that I really like are these ASICs. I prefer them to a leather heavy sneaker just because when it is hot you want something that breathes. And then what I would do with this kind of outfit combination which I've worn many times before I would just wear this with a really simple tank top that's fitted that has really clean and sleek lines. I think what I would do here is sort of lean into the more minimal side of my three words if I'm using them to guide my choices here. And if you're not familiar with the three word rule it's essentially choosing pinpointing three words that describe or define your style I did a whole video on this I will leave it up here for you also but my three words are classic minimal and undone I'm gonna lean heavily into the minimal because it feels a little bit more modern and contemporary so that's where the clean lines of that simple tank come in I think it's a silhouette that feels more structured and it really mimics the structure of the city, like these clean, hard lines that we see in the architecture in the buildings. I'm also going to go a little bit heavier on accessories. And again, because this is like an urban, busy center, even if it's summer, I wanna add a little bit of weight to the outfit. And I think you can do this with jewelry really well. So like a heavier necklace, chunkier earrings maybe, a lot of like my heavier watch, the menswear inspired watch. And again, this kind of balances out the minimal aspect of the rest of my outfit and adds a little bit of tension. So not all urban centers are made equally and there are urban centers in very tropical environments, places like Bangkok, Manila, Kuala Lumpur, even Rome. These cities have the same, you know, things we have to contend with like subways and buses and crowds and traffic, but there's like this tropical element that I find is a really interesting mix and I find these cities are a bit challenging to navigate in terms of style. So what I would do here is I would actually take my maxi dress which I had originally intended and really thought like oh this is an island dress this is like resorty beachy but I think it would really work for these more tropical large urban centers because it's got that really nice sense of flow and movement and like also really good for airflow if it's really hot so it feels tropical because of these elements the breathing room and the movement but it's also in black 
black, it's a neutral, it's really sleek and minimal. So it kind of works with those urban elements as well. If you're in places like Bangkok or if you're going into Rome and you want to visit certain temples and churches, you often do have to stay covered up. So I do think a maxi like this is a really good choice and you can easily throw like a linen shirt on top. So I would just pop my linen shirt on top if I needed or wanted to have my shoulders covered. Because these are both really classic pieces, again that's like my three words, I'm just styling them in a way and mixing these classic pieces together in a way that still works for this city. And what I would do to add a little bit of tension and of course like keep it really functional because you're doing a lot of walking, you might be taking buses, trains, tuk-tuks, I'm gonna style this dress with a really functional shoe, something that has a bit of weight to it to balance out the weight of the dress and also give it that city ready feeling. So something like a sneaker or a sandal that is pretty high off the ground that has some good distance between me and the street. And I think what I could do here is add a hat. You know, these destinations, especially with climate change, the heat and the sun is so, so much stronger. That's why I'm wearing my glasses. I hope you don't mind. It's just, it's, it's too bright for my eyeballs, okay? And on all of these kind of more city looks, I think it's always good to be hands-free as often as possible when you're traveling for ease of movement. So definitely something with a crossbody or that sits on the shoulder or even a backpack. You could totally have a backpack with you throughout the day and it would look really good. I don't know if I'm the only one that's noticed this about certain cities that I've visited, but I feel like there are certain places and destinations that you visit that have an air of formality to their dressing. Like in contrast with a place like LA where everything feels really chill and relaxed and undone, there's cities like Charleston or Zagreb, for example, where I feel like there's like a formal sensibility to their dressing. So for this kind of environment, I would stick with something that is both light and airy, easy to move in so that you're kind of working with the heat, but that has a texture that feels a little bit richer, a little bit more luxe. So I would start with my slip skirt here. It's light and airy. It's got movement. It's got a good sense of flow. I don't overheat in it, but because of the texture, that silky texture, it feels more elevated. It feels more polished. I think the more common or natural thing to pair with this skirt in general would be like a blouse or something like a silky slip top, which I've definitely done. But if I'm really trying to like stay true to my own style, I would look for something that feels perhaps a little bit more undone, but that I could style in a more polished way. So something like my button up shirt that I could just do a little half tuck or a tie and feel really good in, or even something as simple as a basic t-shirt. And I would style it though tucked in with a belt rather than knotting it at the waist, which can feel a little bit casual. But because of the way I've styled everything with that little bit more of like a feminine sensibility and more dressed sensibility, I think I would feel comfortable wandering around like a place like Vienna or Charleston or Zagreb in this outfit. The final destination, which I often get carried away in, or I used to get really carried away in terms of style, uh, like I would buy like, or I would try to buy all these like super embroidered pieces. And it's like, when am I ever gonna wear this in Canada? Tropical islands, small Mediterranean towns, those kinds of places where it's just elegant and heat. You're surrounded by beautiful architecture, stylish people, delicious restaurants. So you, you want to feel elegant and elevated. It's not like a flip-flop beach town either. So what I would do here, this is more like a look if I was going out in the evening or for dinner or for a nice lunch. I would wear my flowy dress. I was actually shocked at how it worked for that like urban setting. I think it's the perfect dress for wandering these beautiful warm weather destinations where you want to feel elevated because it's got these great details like the ruffle, the center split, the detail at the shoulder. It feels really elevated and I think that's what's important is finding a sundress or a piece that can be a passepartout that can be reworn because you feel great in it but that has these little details. Minimal but impactful accessories to dress it up. I would probably wear this with just a really nice sleek simple sandal to give it that dress down feel because again you know you are at a beach town you are on the side of the water you don't want to feel too fussy at least I don't I don't want to feel too overdone and I would keep my hair my makeup everything super casual with this because you've already got such a visually impactful dress
Okay, post-production Alyssa here. I actually came up with a second outfit formula for this scenario as well. Light tailored separates. They don't have to be tailored to the max. Perhaps it's more just light detailed separates so that you feel a little bit more dressed. For example, there's a little bit of tailoring in these shorts, a little bit of crochet detail on the shoulders of this blouse. So even though they're made of a really light and casual fabric like cotton and linen, the look still feels put together. And the final piece of this outfit formula would be a more elevated sandal, but still comfortable. I hope you liked today's video. I hope it does inspire you for some of these destinations. If you are traveling or if you just want to change up the way you are moving about your own hometown and your own environment, you can definitely shop your closet for this. If you'd like me to do this in the winter or for like fall winter travel destinations or different environments, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful week ahead. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you liked this video or learn something new, give it a thumbs up also, and I will be back with another slow fashion video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you again. Ciao.